The next line is the gross margin, also known as gross profit. Sometimes you hear people refer to it simply as the margin. They might say, is that a high margin or is that a low margin product? This answers the question, when you sell a product, what's left over after you pay for the ingredients? It's simply the difference between what we sold the customers and how much it costs to make the thing that we sold them. For Apple in 2018, it was $101,839,000,000. You can clearly see it's revenue minus cost of sales. This is how much we have left over to pay the overhead. If you can increase the price you're charging for iPhones and reduce the cost of ingredients, maybe by sourcing those ingredients in other countries as an example, then you could really boost your gross margin even more. On the other hand, if you have competitors, like what Samsung is to Apple, you may have to lower your prices to be competitive, and you may also have to compete for ingredients, which could drive your cost of sales up, and both of these actions combined would lower your gross margin. But again, those are the two key and basic drivers that impact the gross margin of any product or service.